he tell how to she ain't the same Monet from season three. She ain't the same Monet from season two. This ain't the Monet from season one. This Monet, for some reason, it feels like once that hot lead got up in her, that anger is it's like it's been released. It was like, you know, when you go get a massage or you go see the chiropractor, they release all that tension. It feels like those 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 lead rounds, those bullets. Once they got up into Monet, it's like, oh, shit, my back feel better. You know what I mean? I can finally move again. You know what I mean? Monet can finally do the dance steps that she used to do. Monet been stiff these first three seasons. But them bullets, they didn't change up Monet. We starting to see a whole different side. Yeah, she's still yelling at the kids, but that's just in her blood. That's just human nature. We all yell at the kids. We all be screaming at the top of our lungs. Fuck those kids. Man. Fuck you. When y'all get on these lives and y'all y'all gotta go, y'all gotta put the kids in the room because they can't listen to Mo. Because sometimes I be talking some shit, and sometimes I be telling kids to do the wrong thing, but in the power universe, but not in real life. But I ain't no role model in real life either. Monet is at the point where it's like, you know what? I'm kind of tired of this shit. I'm tired of being a worker. I'm tired of trying to get that work for somebody else. I'm tired of. Asking Monet, I mean, not Monet, Noma, can I come into work? I'm tired of my kids running around. And she just found out that her two kids, one of the kids that called a body for her, then turned on her, tried to get her up out the game. And then you got her other son, well, her second son, which we thought was her first son, but we found out that her first son was a nigga named Zeke, who he's dead. But now we got Kane, who is the number two son, but the number one son, because he's the number one son, because he's the only one we knew about. But we also know that he came from a Lorenzo, but we ain't for sure if Lorenzo is his dad. I don't, we don't even know what the fuck is going on. But Monet really wants Tariq to be her son. She's looking at Tariq St. Patrick like, man, I wish I could have had this little nigga as a son. But unfortunately, Tariq had Tasha as a mom when he should have had Monet as a mom because I think Monet and Tariq have a better relationship than Tasha and uh, Tariq. Kane, he's looking out for his mom like, hey, you know, we got we to gotta get rid of Drew and Diana. But everyone looks at Monet. What we going to do, Monet? Remember, Monet told us she's trying to start a new business. Monet trying to get this thing cracking. Monet want to be in charge. But when it's time to stand on business, we're going to count how many times Monet folds under pressure. See, when they were kids, Monet was treating these little motherfuckers a little bit differently. Now she's looking at Tariq. Now she's looking at Kane, and both of them said, you know what we got to do? We got to go get you and Diana. You know, there's no other option. We got to get both of them. She like, oh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to. Monet, what are you talking about? These niggas just tried to ride on you. So Monet, she kind of hesitant. We like, oh, we're starting to see her weak point. A mama being a mama. But it's starting to look like Monet is only tough with the innocent. Monet is only tough when she got a gun in her hand. Monet is only tough when she thinks that she can bully somebody. Monet, this whole time, we've been thinking Monet was really like that. Monet, the layers are being peeled back each and every episode. This season is starting to show that Monet is actually a human and she ain't the boogeyman. Or should I say boogie woman? I'm not even built like that, Tommy. That ain't even me, yo. Because when she gets down here, she starts to put a bruising on this innocent man that just said, hey, I can't give you that information. I can't give you that information, lady. But she pulled that gun out and beat this man awfully. An innocent man just trying to do his job. Get out of here. I can't give you that information, even though Monet paid for it. Now, I predicted this the same exact way. Remember, I was telling y'all, she pulls that gun out. I'm going to tell her to go up the stairs, take seven steps to the left, turn, you go into that room. 23, 
we were talking about 13, but that's on the bottom floor. The same exact thing happened. At first, it was, bitch, get out of here. Then she pulled that gun out. It was, well, wait a minute. See, why did you say you paid for the room? That's all you had to say. You paid for the room. My bad. Look, girl. My bad. Let me tell you something. Here's the room key. Matter of fact, if you want the code to the safe, we got the code to the safe, too. So the code to the safe is 14. You can go to the left, 14. You can go to the right, 38. Then you can go to the left. You, you get that down? 13, 38. And then you can go to the left. And the last number, what you're going to do, the last number is going to be 55. 55th Street. So that's the code to the safe. The key to the room uh, is also inside this little pamphlet here. You can go to the room. The safe is in the back. Uh, do whatever you need to do. Uh, I'm going to be down here. Actually, I'm going to take my break. So if you need anything in here, you can refreshments. Here's the key to the vending machine. It's an old vending machine. It, it kind of looks beat up because somebody with a crowbar tried to get some bums was over here the other day. But don't worry about it. It's still, it's still restocked. Yeah. You got to give up this information. Never listen. When you at work, remember, none of this shit belongs to you. None of it belongs to you. Do not protect this shit with your life. You just don't do it. Where I work at now, let me tell you something. If someone was ever to come and try to rob us, hey, it ain't my shit. It ain't my. It's over there. It's over there. When I pull up and I'm asking for some condiments for, for my food, don't be trying to charge me for that shit. It ain't yours. Just throw that shit in the bag, man. Who's keeping track of extra barbecue sauce? Ain't no one in the back, man. We got 300 barbecue sauce. Uh, Why we only rang up 280 of them? Like, where's the other 20? No one cares about this. Throw that shit in the bag, man. Making this shit complicated. So what? I drank the free water in the room that wasn't free. Man, you ain't got to charge me for that water. $3 for that water. Man, just put another water bottle in there. Ain't no one keeping track of that. Don't do that. But don't be this man. She came in and asked for a key. Oh, nigga, what key you need? What key? You want the master key? Look, I got the master key right here. It's on, it's on, my, it's on my hip. It's on the master key. Master key right here. And then I would have took that gun from Monet. But don't. I'm telling y'all, don't y'all try that. Y'all might end up... Monet whips on this dude. I don't even know how we went down this. I don't even know how we got down this track. Oh, we was talking about um, Monet abusing all of the weak people. Yeah, that's how we got here. Yeah, that's how we got here. It's hot than a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to you, golly. Anyway, Monet down this motherfucker. She finally get the room key. She go upstairs. She pulled a gun out. It's hard to run. When the rabbit got the gun, what does that even mean, Monet? I mean, it's hard to run when I'm footing the bill. So they like, Ma, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to do that. It was an accident. We accidentally sent hitters to kill you. An accident? Monet said, you ungrateful niggas. I gave you everything. This nigga Drew talking about you ain't give us nothing. Treated us like shit, Ma. Monet said, oh, you going to talk to me like that, Drew? After everything I did, after I taught you the game, after I showed you how to put an OZ into a zip? Huh? That doesn't even make sense, Ma. You can't put an OZ into a zip. Exactly. I trained you that. You wouldn't have known that if it wasn't for me, Monet. Motherfucker to hire. While your daddy was in jail, it was me. And you niggas tried to set me up. Drew's like, I ain't apologizing for shit. I'm standing on business. Diana over here copping, please. Diana talking about, no, bro, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to have killers go over there. Monet should have let them things off. But Monet is a mother. And like I said, we starting to see that shift in her character. Don't you talk to me like that, Drew. And out of nowhere, Diana knocks her over, pushes her on the bed. Monet said, oh. They run up out the crib. Monet don't even fire off no shots, but Kane do. 
Kane don't care at this point. Kane get the fire and Kane get the bucket. Yeah, Esquire was unarmed too. Remember, he was eating what he was eating some shrimp. Killed that man like that. Damn, they got away, man. These little mother suckers. Now, with all that going on, Kane's out and <laughs> out and about looking for Drew. She's like, all right, let me know when you find Drew. Now, I know a lot of people were saying that they have uh, certain feelings about Janet. Now, we don't know too much about Janet. But this week, Janet actually, are we giving Janet some credit this week? Because think about it. She did tell Monet. Monet was in her mood. You know, Monet always going to be grumpy. That's one thing about Monet. You could wake her up at like 7, grumpy. Monet could wake up at her own like at noon, grumpy. It could be we just had dinner, grumpy. It could be Monet just went and bought a $30,000 mink, grumpy. It don't matter. Monet is always grumpy. But Jenna said, uh, you need to get your shit together. It's a fucking detective down there, Detective Don Carter. And he's asking questions about your shoot. So... I mean, we have judged Janet as, you know, maybe a rat, maybe a mole. But as of right now, Janet actually stood up for her. What up, Nino? Janet said, oh, get your shit together. It's a goddamn cop down there. I would have said, why would you invite a cop into the house? All the shit you heard us do, Janet. You know I got shot. You know I'm trying to go to work for Noma. You know my kids is working for Noma. You know last night I just told everybody at the table I made a huge announcement. It's like Zeke announcing his uh, he's entering the draft. I said, I'm about to get back in the dope game. Why the fuck would you allow the detective to come into our house and then leave him downstairs by himself? Tell that nigga to wait outside. Tell hey, go tell go tell the detective. I'm sick. I got bubble guts. I'm on the toilet. I won't be out for another hour to two hours. He needs to come back and call before he comes back. Don't just pop up over here. Janet, go tell him that shit. Janet, why would you invite the cop in here? You know, you know all the shit we've been doing. I just made an announcement last night. All right, listen up, kids. I'm getting back in the dope game. It's official. You know what I mean? I'm buying my first brick. I'm about to get back in the game. Janet's like, oh, come on in, detective. Yeah, we ain't doing no drugs over here. Man, we just had a whole argument. We know that there's kids that live in this house that put a hit on their mama. And you didn't buy the police in here. I said, what the hell, Janet? We we was we thought you was about to just skate up on the radar, but then it's like, nah, this is some if this is police shit right here. This is police shit. Carter downstairs, and in evidence. Yeah, he didn't put a bug in the house. He got a wire in there. He got a little mini camera somewhere. He about to do everything that's going on. But Monet goes down here. Hey Monet, uh. You got a relationship with a uh, Tariq St. Patrick? I don't know who that is. He said, "Yeah, I thought you'd say some shit like that." Well, there's a there's an eyewitness that says uh, Tariq fits the description. So during your shooting, they said they seen him flee in the scene. She's like, "I don't know what you're talking about." Now this is Monet's story, so we got to give it from her perspective because we about to go talk about the you know what I'm saying the admin side. Monet trying to play it cool in her head. She like, oh god, leave this. Oh, all right, forgive me for what I'm about to say, y'all. But this is Monet thinking in her head. Everything I'm about to say is just Monet's brain thinking. This is her conscious. <clears throat> 
Don't act shocked, Monet. Oh, this bitch, Diana. When I put my hands around Diana's neck this time, I ain't letting go. This bitch that put a hit on me. Dumbass. Had witnesses. She hired Tariq to do it. Use my credit card. I'm on the camera whooping a nigga ass at the Motel 6. I'm on camera. Kane is shooting at cars. That's on camera too. This bitch Diana. I might have to go along with what Kane said and get rid of him. Both of them. Drew and Diana. These two nigglets. I just can't trust either one of them. Now I'm depending on Kane. What does the world come to? Kane is the only child I can trust, and that's not saying a lot. And now I got this weak ass cop in front of me. What is these green eyes, blue eyes? What's wrong with this nigga? He wearing contacts, or is that his real shit? Man, who the fuck? Don Carter. That don't even sound like a real name. I'm about to do some digging. I'm about to call up Davis after this and figure out what the fuck is going on. A suspect. They're saying Tariq is a suspect. I thought Tariq told me he didn't do no shooting. I think I got to go question this nigga Tariq now. I really can't trust nobody. The dope game, ain't, it ain't fun. It ain't fun at all. Everywhere I look, Tariq told me he didn't do nothing, but now this cop is telling me Tariq did do something. Diana said Tariq did it, but then she said Tariq didn't do it, and then she said someone else showed up. Kane... I don't even know what Kane is doing at this moment. I called that nigga. That nigga was out and about. Hmm. Damn. We're screwed. What the fuck? Janet better not be up in my clothes again. I gave her cheap ass a motherfucking coat the other day, but she's upstairs and she let this cop in. This may be a distraction. Maybe she's setting me up. Maybe. Hmm. I hate to have to put pause on Janet. But damn it, if I got to, I got to. She keep talking that shit about when we were younger. Man, fuck all that. We ain't young. We ain't kids no more. She ain't going to talk to me like that. And I don't want to be you. Yeah, one time I said, you know, you're my favorite cousin. But other than that, the fuck she talking about? I wanted to be her. I ain't never want to be that bitch. I am that bitch. My name is Monet Tejada. Monet Stewart. I'm out here. I wonder if this cop's going to leave. Because he's talking. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about right now. I gotta act like I'm I'm cool, but man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm kind of nervous. I did whoop that nigga ass last night. He seemed like the type that'll call the police. Damn, fuck. This whole thing is a whole fucked up situation. Maybe I need to go on the run. Maybe New York ain't safe for me. But then again, this is my city. I already told no man and them fucking bitch ass Russians. This is my shit, nigga. I'm the, I'm the queen of New York. I ain't man, you know what? Fuck all that. I'm standing on business. I ain't leaving the city. They talking about leave the city. Ain't no leaving the goddamn city. Fuck that. They they want me dead. They gonna have to come and get me. They know where I'm at. South side. Yeah. They gonna have to come see me. Matter of fact, fuck all that. They gonna have to come see me. Yeah, tell them niggas I said that. Matter of fact, I'm about to call Kane. Tell Kane put the word in the street. Kane put the word in the street. Monet ain't playing around with none of these bitch ass niggas. Matter of fact, tell Noma I quit. Fucking no one gonna tell me I can't come to work. Who she thinks she is? Okay, she might have a little more money than me. She might have the dope. She might have the guns, but she ain't better than me. I tell you that right now. Go try to confront me on some mecca shit. Now I ain't forget that shit, bitch ass nigga mecca snitching ass nigga. She over here dating a snitch. Then she gonna come and try to talk to us about some bullshit in the street. Okay, I'm gonna see you, no one. Fuck that. This shit ain't over, man. Pussy. Talking about. Don't come to work. I need to recover. Bitch, you gonna recover when I get done with you. Oh, Vic, yeah, yeah. You think, keep talking that shit. Oh, I pr promise you when this cop leave, I'm on somebody's ass today. Oh, I, ooh, first, I'm gonna start with Janet. I'm dead. Ooh, I tell you, if she's in my clothes again, it ain't gonna be no talking. It's on site with that bitch. But no more, you number one. Drew, Diana, ooh, ooh, you better believe I'm coming for both of you, too. Y'all done charged that motherfucking raggedy-ass motel on my credit card? Ooh, y'all gonna pay. You niggas gonna pay. Both of you niggas gonna motherfucking pay. I'm telling you, you gonna pay. You gonna pay. Excuse me? Sorry, officer. What were you talking about? 
Monet. I see you over there. You're spiraling. I just sat here and I listened to you. I just want to let you know, Monet, all that shit you just said, you were thinking out loud. I heard it all. We got you on a record, Monet. You talk about you ain't leaving the city. Monet is over here discombobulated. She was over here ranting in her mind, but she ain't even know Don Carter was sitting here. And this ain't no play play. This ain't no, what was the, what was the cop they killed? What was the cop that they killed? Uh, Whitmore, Whiteman. Yeah, this ain't Whiteman. This is Don fucking Carter. Don Carter showed up to the crib unannounced. He's sitting at the table. Yeah, hey, what's going on, Monet? Yeah, we got witnesses. We know about you and Tariq St. Patrick. We know about everything. We know about everything. Don't even worry about it. We know about everything. You ain't got to tell me nothing right now. But just know when we come back for your ass, we come back for your ass. Don Carter ain't playing around. This shit ain't even fair no more. This ain't even fair no more. Monet over here thinking about what's the next move? How can we adjust? How can we get out of this situation? The whole time, this nigga Don Carter is right here waiting. Plan is in full effect. I don't know why my internet be kicking out like that, but I'm putting two scenes together. The argument that they had at the table and this argument that they had, well, not the argument in the room, but I'm just putting two scenes together. So when they were at the table, she's telling Monet, you don't even know your kids. You know why your kids are like this. You so strung up with getting back into the dope game. You didn't even notice that Diana is pregnant. She said, how did you notice she was pregnant? Man, anyone could tell that she's pregnant. She got to change her heart. She's walking around here eating up all the snacks, all the hog mall. She eating up everything, Monet. She's having cravings for jalapenos, jalapenos, or how we say it in Spanish, jalapeno. <laughs> She's throwing up. She boo-booing all day. Hell, I found one of them little pea sticks in the bathroom. That motherfucker said two lines. She's pregnant, Mo. And now Monet's having a moment. And this is right before the flashback. But she's thinking, maybe I did fuck up these kids. Maybe I am the reason that these kids is on some bullshit. Now, remember, Janet's supposed to be heading back to the ATL. Janet was supposed to leave last night at the dinner table. Now she's talking about she's headed back to ATL. Well, with the kids on the run, Janet looking like I might just move in. It's rent free around here. It is rent free. <laughs> she glowing, Monet. She getting big, Monet. That's what she doing. She getting big. It's just a lot going on, man. And then we had the flashback, and we know Monet wasn't standing on business in the flashback. How do you guys feel about Monet and what, what she's doing with the kids? Especially Drew. Let's just say Drew. Is Drew the only kid that was abused? Like, man, this, this, she was abusing Drew as a kid. Now we haven't really seen too much of her and uh Mo uh, not Mo Day, her and Diana. But her and Drew. Well, hold on. So with Kane, with Kane, we seen her using Kane to get the drugs. Drew, she's abusive. Diana, she realized that Diana's a liar. So we're, we're just gathering a little bit of information on each one of the kids. Each episode, we get a flashback. The first one, it was Kane getting Kane a better life. Remember, Kane wasn't really put into it as much as Drew and Diana was from what we've seen. Kane grew up. He was the first, well, the second child. Jesus Louise. He was the second child, but he was just a baby. But we haven't seen Kane being involved with the drugs. So maybe that's one reason Kane is so adamant of, let me get back in the game. Let me be the number one. 
but Drew was really the number one. And this is why they wanted Drew to take over. Drew called a body. Drew knew about moving the product. Drew knew about packaging the product. So Drew is more advanced than what Kane was at this age. Well, from what we see, he definitely was more advanced than Zeke. And Zeke is like five years older than him. <laughs> well, Monet takes her son to work. And, you know, when you take your... Would this be considered nepotism? Would, would we consider this nepotism? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like the LeBron and Bronny? Man, what the hell is this? Would this be considered, like, take your son to work, you putting him in the game, making him the next person? Like, is this nepotism? Or this is just part of the game? <laughs> Kane was outside running around. She abused all of them. She slapped the fuck out of Drew at 12 after he saved her. That's what I'm saying. Like, man, Drew put a man, Drew put a bullet in the nigga because he was whooping your ass. And then you slapped this nigga because he crying because he saved you. <laughs> Niggatism. <laughs> hey, Kane did say Drew did not want to be involved in the game. Damn. But Drew does save Mo. And the last thing we see of Monet is her pulling up to save Diana. She's pregnant, Tariq, with your baby. And what did, what did Monet say? I just want to protect my family. I just want to protect my 